If you've wanted to make a lead magnet, but unsure where to start, this is your video. I'm gonna go through three ways to create custom landing pages specifically for a lead magnet using Beehive. Now, two of these are built straight into Beehive, and the third is using an exterior service called Card, which you may be familiar with. There's a free version for that. In order to do everything we're doing though, you would have to have the paid version. And for most of what we're doing, you would need one of the paid plans of Beehive as well. They start very affordably though, and I've got a link in the description below for a discount using my partner link if you're interested in that for both of these platforms. Now let's get straight to the meat and potatoes. Here's a scenario that I'm in. I create YouTube videos like this one, and I often will link in the comments the sheet that I've used, like the Google Sheet or the Excel Sheet. Instead of just linking straight to this, I'm going to start creating lead magnet pages because ultimately what I want and what you want for your audience is for them to go here to the subscribe page of your newsletter because you're building an audience with the newsletter. You don't just want to give everything away completely for free, even though it stays free. But this email address will have value because down the road, you may turn that free subscriber into a paid customer. Now I've got a ton of these sheets, so I plan on making a ton of these lead magnet pages. You could group them together and have like one master page for all the YouTube videos and have, a, I don't know, a Google sheet with all the resources from all those pages. But what we're doing today is creating one lead magnet page for this one video that links to one free spreadsheet. And let's see where the spreadsheet is. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. This is the spreadsheet. So previously what I do is I just copy this address in here and in Google Sheets, if you type the word copy at the end of the URL, it creates this page and it just makes a copy. So if somebody comes here, they lands here, they make a copy, it's on their own Google Drive, everybody's happy. That's fine, I wanna continue offering this, I just want to have a middle step in between where I get the email address and hopefully provide even more value by putting them on my email list. That's the lead magnet. So it, it gets them, it incentivize the, incentivizes them to give you an email address so that you can then deliver the free product and go on from there. Way number one is this right here. You're looking at my thank you page. So this thank you page is what I've created in Beehive, and I'm gonna walk through how we create this in just a second. I wanted to give you a view of it first. This is where somebody will land after they sign up for my regular subscribe form. So my regular subscribe form lives at gotsheet.xyz slash subscribe. So when somebody goes here, they enter their email, they can scroll down and see these testimonials first. They can even go over to the site and uh, read first. I don't have it gated as of the date of this recording. This is all free still. But once they enter the email and they select get good to get good at spreadsheets, they are redirected here to my thank you page. And I just say, hey, I'm Eamon, glad you're here. Here's what to expect. There'll be a welcome email that also comes. Here's a little bit about me, so they know what's up with me. I link to some stuff that I'm doing, uh, another newsletter and videos. Here's some of my best content. And then here are some testimonials from people who I've started getting testimonials from people that I've actually consulted with and worked for some building some custom solutions. So this is kind of a standard issue. You can see it lives on Beehive's regular platform. It looks very similar to my Beehive page. And it's just a page that we built inside Beehive. This is option one. This is the easiest version is to just add stuff to that thank you page. If you don't have a thank you page, let's go into Beehive here and show you how to create one. So this is the dashboard and we're gonna zoom in here. And the first thing we wanna do, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive where you find this. You go to design, website builder, and usually I have to like click around to remember where it lives but it's actually under layout, global navigation layout. And then down here, our thank you page will live as a standalone page. So we got two things we can build in Beehive, standalone pages and draft pages. Draft pages are meant to be put on the actual navigation bar. You see, I've got categories here and I've got this YouTube videos link. So this YouTube video link is an external page that goes to my YouTube, but it lives on the navigation bar. So that's not what we're doing. We don't want this to be visible on the navigation bar. 
we want it to be standalone. So what we do is just click, click create page and then we type in a regular page. We have access to all the regular Beehive features here. We've got some SEO stuff that we can do on the sidebar on the left. We can upload an image and uh, be done. I'm not gonna create a new one. I'm gonna go back to settings and I'm gonna open up the one that I have created. Once you've created and published a new one and given it a slug so it lives on your site, then you can go over here, it'll show up in standalone pages. I can click edit and here's the thank you page that I've created. And as you can see, it's just some paragraphs, this little deal from uh, Senja uh, with my testimonials and that's basically it. So if I wanted, I could come in here and make another section. I could throw the link down to that page where the free Google Sheet lives, and we can call it a day. Or I could even have, like I said, a Google Sheet with all of my free sheets on there that is just like a repository for free subscribers to be able to then get that free repository. Once you've created a thank you page, you will wanna go over here to settings. And again, to remind you that I'm in design, website builder, settings and then down here in the middle of the sidebar we've got sign up flow so this sign up flow this from top to bottom this is what happens when somebody signs up from that main subscribe form in order to get them to go to your thank you page you need to add a url down here like i've done at the bottom so you just simply edit and say hey i want this thank you page to be where somebody goes at the end of the thank you or the sign up flow that's option one. I love it, it's great. It's not what I'm gonna use because we're gonna go to option two next. And option two is similar. So this is option two. This is another standalone page that lives on my gotsheet.xyz Beehive website, hosted on Beehive and everything. The difference is it is created for one specific purpose. This is specifically for this, getting this checkbox Google Sheet. So you sign up here. It's a form that signs up to my regular Got Sheet newsletter. But when you sign up through this form, it doesn't go to the thank you page. It actually redirects to my uh, sheet that I'm giving away. So it'll redirect someone right to there. Gives a little image of the sheet they're getting. And then this is just a, a nice thing that I've seen other people do. If you really don't want to sign up for the newsletter, okay, and you still want the sheet, here it is. And this redirects over here as well. You can take that or leave that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave that in or not. I, I still want the email signups. So how do we create this? Well, we're going to create another standalone page, but first, before we do that, let's go over here to audience and create a subscribe form because we need a custom form to be able to do that custom action. And so once you're in subscribe forms, you click create form and you title it, you give it a custom sheet header and description. You can change the placeholder text, the button text, and that's pretty much it, and then the typography. Down here at the bottom, after submission, when a subscriber subscribes via the form, we can either show a success message, or what I've done is I'm redirecting to that page. And I've already created it, so let's go in here to edit the one I created. I made it custom text here, and then down at the bottom, we're redirecting to that Google Sheet. Pretty simple. Once you've created and saved a form, then you can say View Form. Now it's gonna give you the embed options. So we've got a full width, a fixed width, or a slim embed. Now I will tell you, this slim embed, let me copy this again. It actually defines a height of 52 that created a scroll bar for me. So if you're finding that you're using a slim embed, just this one line, and there's a ugly scroll bar on it, you change this height to like 75 and it'll, it'll get rid of that. Just pro tip for you there. I use the full width though. What these are are iframe uh, HTML code that embeds this inside of the standalone page. So we need to copy that iframe. And what I did was just throw it in a notepad, go back out to my main page in Beehive, go back down to the design, website builder, layout, global navigation, standalone pages. And we created a new page. Here's the page that I created. I'm gonna edit it and show you all that I put in here is simply an HTML block. So down here at the bottom, you just go backslash HTML and it pops up a code snippet 
you paste in that iframe and you're good to go. Underneath there, I've got an image, just a screenshot of the actual sheet they're getting, and I titled it Free Custom Spreadsheet. And uh, over on the left sidebar, we've got the Add to Website uh, as a standalone page, or if you wanted to put it as a nav bar option or a draft option, you can change that there. Then we've got our title and SEO descriptions, no index enabled. If we want to prevent search engines from indexing this page, which we actually might want to do that, but I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. Uh, we would we could change that there. Okay, so now we've got a standalone page created. Now we simply need to give the URL. So if I click view, this takes us to this URL, which we've already seen. Copy this, and this is our custom landing page for that lead magnet using simply the built-in Beehive website building tools. Okay, way three. Well, if you don't want to live just on Beehive and you want a little bit more customization to the landing page, you can create something like this. So I'm using Card, which integrates very easily with Beehive to create a very custom landing page that looks completely different. You know, if you're a stickler for customization, this may be the route to go because you can really do a whole lot with card and customizing everything and then you just hook it up with the API over on Beehive, which we'll go through in just a moment to create something like this. This is simple, a simple form in card and it hooks up to Beehive and goes through that same sequence. And then let's put in an email address here. Once you subscribe, then it pops up this page and you go, hey, thanks. And this thanks, I've actually got that if somebody decides to click it, that goes to my thank you page, or we click free sheet and it goes over here to this document. Okay, so, so how do we build this? Well, we need to go over to card and you will need a paid card plan, but get this, it's 20 bucks a year, a year. It's super cheap, starts at 20. I've got the $49 version just so I can have additional sites um, and you can pay for more sites if you're making a bunch. I think either one of those is a steal. There's a link in the description below uh, if you want to check card out. From here, we've got all these pre-built landing pages, profile pages, landing pages, everything. And then we got these form pages. Now you can start from scratch with a blank page. You can start from any one of these themes as long as we add a form to it. Uh, for the simplicity of our example, I just went over here to this pro theme and selected it because it's got a form already built in. I just had to add my details. So once we create that, I select that, then we wind up over here in the editor. Now there's a gazillion things that you can do in the editor, adding icons, adding images, adding social links. All these were already there. I simply updated them with my information. Uh, I changed the text. They've got a bunch of placeholder text. I'm not going to go through all the styling of everything because that's really subject to whatever time and energy you want to put into a site. Suffice it to say that I spent maybe 30 minutes to get it to look like this, just changing some of the default settings that came out of the gate. It doesn't take a lot. It really doesn't. But bare essentials, if you don't even do anything, what you do need to do and what we're here to talk about is edit this form. So this form right here, when you click an element in card over here on the left hand sidebar it will pop up all of the customization options. So inside this container, you can see I've got this form and inside a form, the first section here that we're going to change are the form type. So this is going to be a sign up form and then they've got all these integrations that card works with. We select Beehive here and then we need an API key and an application ID. Okay, where's that come from? Back over here on Beehive, you're going to want to go to settings, integrations, and then the API key, we're using version two. Then here we've got publication ID right here. We just copy that and API key. You'll need to create a new API key and then copy that value. I'm not going to show mine here. So it's one less thing I have to blur out. You just copy the value. It generates a key for you. It's just making a key that uh, Beehive and Card can use to communicate with each other. Once you've done that, we scroll down here. On completion, we can either redirect to 
the spreadsheet itself, or we can redirect as I've done here to this little done section. So this little uh, guy pops up and says subscribed, and then you click to the free sheet. We can also select some additional options. We can protect with a recapture. We can collect UTM parameters. So this is more information uh, for Beehive's analytics to say where the subscribers came from. And that's the only one that I've checked here. Over here on form fields, I've uh, removed everything except the email. All I want is just the email. And then right over here is the button. So we can change the button label if we want. The appearance, we can do all the appearance stuff. And again, we're not gonna go into the weeds with that today. Oh, and I was looking for it and it was just behind my camera. This autofocus form, I do like to have that selected. So it'll focus on the forms. The cursor will be in there as soon as the site loads. I think that's very important. Somebody can just type in and click enter. It makes the process a lot more streamlined. Uh, up here also, there's this send welcome email option. So it'll automatically send a welcome email to new subscribers. So that just makes sure that the welcome email that you've created, hopefully, because you need one of those in Beehive, that still goes to the subscribers that comes from this form. All right, so that's way number three. And again, here's what the published form looks like. As you can see, the cursor auto focuses right there. I don't have to click anything. It's already ready to type out and fill out the form. It's got my social links. I didn't go over that, but I did make sure that those went to the proper sites. These are the only three that I wanted to highlight. And that's it. So which, which do you like? Here's the uh, review of them all. We've got this custom uh, page, this standalone page in Beehive. We've got the thank you page also in Beehive. And then we've got the card page. So all very good options to create a lead magnet. Hey, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I make videos, as you can see, about spreadsheets. And I also have a playlist dedicated to Beehive tutorials that I've found useful as I've grown my own email audience over there. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.